I don't know when it began. I don't know how that's finished. My name was David last week. Why does everyone call me San? My wife has held me every night for the past 17 years. What happened there? I already made this post today. Where was it gone? Honey, do you think the wall looks different? I couldn't put my finger on it. Last week our living room wall just looked changed. The color was fine, everything on the wall was still there, but something seemed off. What do you mean? My wife couldn't see it. I don't know. I stared at the wall too much that day. My wife got concerned, but I assured her I was fine. The paint strokes. I spoke as though I sounded sane, despite knowing otherwise. They look different. My wife got me to have an early night. I appreciate her concern, but I couldn't sleep. The bed linen felt slightly different against my skin. It wasn't uncomfortable, just different. Like eating your favorite food whilst recovering from a cold. You still enjoy it, but the taste feels parallel to that which you're used to. The next day, my wife hoped my mind would be clearer. As I got out of bed, I stopped again and immediately broke her hope. The wardrobe looks different. My wife looked concerned for my health, but I know what I saw. It wasn't the same wardrobe we had purchased years prior. It looked almost identical, like a movie prop for a true story film. It has echoes of reality, often as close as possible, but if you know it well, you can spot a fake. The wardrobe's impurities over the years were not the same. The slight scrapes and scratches were in different directions and some in different locations. They were only visible when the light shone on the wooden door at the right angle. But I still noticed them like second nature. The confusion continued as I put my feet on the ground. Every fiber of the carpet floor felt like it was weaved in a different direction than before. The type of detail that would not be visible in a photo, even a close-up inspection might yield no suspicion. But if you walk across the same flooring every day for over a decade, do not think you'd notice a slight change. If the bumps seemed to fall in a new place, if the ragged edges were just a little less ragged. I told this to my wife. Honey, I think you need to see a doctor. It's not normal for I know what I'm seeing. The frustration shook my voice. Why won't you believe me? Won't you see it too? We briefly argued. You're really going to cause all this because the fucking carpet feels different. She made a good point. I tried to let it go. I told her I'd talk to a doctor. My calm only lasted 10 minutes. When I opened our fridge, it had four shelves instead of three. There had always been three. Where the fuck had a fourth shelf come from? They were even spaced as though there had always been four. None of them individually looked out of place, yet as a whole, everything was wrong. I felt my breathing speed up, as my mind raced to make sense of everything. Sam, what's the matter? Talk to me, honey. My wife spoke in the most loving, uplifting voice. She was always good at calming me down. But my name is David. I lost it. I accused my wife of cheating on me. I even suggested that she was secretly changing things to make me question my sanity. Both of us cried as the argument continued, more heated than before. I truly trusted her more than anyone in the world. It breaks my heart that I had a lapse of trust. It breaks it even more that it's the last conversation we ever had. She ran into the bathroom and locked the door. I don't blame her. Once I had calmed down, I knocked on the door. Honey, can I come in? No answer. I waited for a moment and spoke gently again. I'm sorry. I overreacted to you calling me the wrong name. I'm sure if we speak about it properly, there's a rational explanation. No answer. I know you're angry at me, but please, let's sit down and give each other our sides. I opened my mouth to speak again as I reached for the handle. The door opened with ease to an empty bathroom. I shouted her name. No answer. I checked the driveway. No car. I looked through my phone. No contact. I wondered how she had somehow deleted herself from my phone. In a panic, I rang up my friend. His wife and my wife were good friends, too. I figured that if she had gone anywhere, it would be their house. I asked if he had seen her. Who? His voice seemed to be filled with genuine confusion. My wife. What do you mean, who? You don't have a wife. I was on the mood for this response. It's not the time for joking. 
We had a bad argument, just tell me if you see her. I walked into the bedroom to check if she had somehow packed her bags without me noticing. I stopped talking as I entered, frozen still. There was no evidence of my wife ever having lived here. Everything that was hers, gone. In place of our large bed was a much smaller one, only big enough for one person. My wife, my one constant in the world, seemingly reduced to a constant nothing. I dropped the phone, my friend stole the line. As I stood there in shock, I could hear his voice faintly from the speaker. Hello? Are you still there? Sam? Can you hear me? Sam?